Hola, hola, hola. Hello, everybody. It's me, Maris, and it is Friday. I love Fridays. You know, I do. I love Fridays, and Friday is going to be a great day today. So I hope you're having a good day because I'm having a good day. And I got a couple of minutes before my next client comes in, so I wanted to uh, do a reading for you. It's for the weekend. We're using the spell casting deck. I like this deck because the vibe I get from it is like talking to one of my best friends that would tell me the truth. Like if I'm being stupid, they'd look at me and go, you're being stupid. Or you're so awesome. Don't you know that? And I'm kind of like, no, I don't. So I like this deck and that's the deck that I'm going to share with you. So today was uh, Brandon's first day with home health and I'm assuming everything went okay because nobody called me and said, oh my God, or whatever, through there, dropped a card. Now, you know, um, whoops, so uh, that's what's kind of cooking over there at the house. So I am doing a fundraiser. I got a couple of things that I'm doing. I'm, on Sunday, I'm doing um, foot detoxes for $25 cash, 30 on the debit card. Text me at 405-549-3766 if you want to come in on Sunday and do a $25 foot detox. Um, that's Sunday only. I don't, I'm not offering that price on any other days. Um, and then um, I also have a, um, oh, what are those called? My Black Cord Remedies. Um, I have the Crescent Moons are on sale for $5. Um, and yes, I can send it to you in the mail if you want to buy it. And I send it to you in the mail for an additional $2. But those are my Crescent Moon Black Cord Remedies. And I have like Carnelian, Jasper, Obsidian, Clear Crystal, Cherry Quartz, some Dalmatian Jasper. So those are cool things and a great way to um, help me um, raise the funds for our daily um, his medication. I thought it was 14 days. It's 10 days. So I'm not... Um, I'm like, oh, that's only going to cost me $2,000, but um, every day it's like $211.90 that um, we have to um, have for the infusion nurse. So I'm doing fundraisers, and I'd love for you to uh, be a part of something great and helping Brandon in his healing. So let's see if we got one more card that comes up, and come on, we'll just go A, B, C... Okay, there we go. They fell on the floor. Don't go anywhere. Let's check that out. Um, and oh, we got a whole bunch of cards. Sue, let me um, let me move forward here with this. We got a lot of cards um, and a pretty cool message um, coming through. Courage. Um, Courage, courage, courage. This is about courage. This is having strength, personal strength, and stamina. So when I'm thinking about courage coming in, that means that there's something that's coming through that's going to probably um, disrupt our normal routine. Disrupt our normal routine. Our obstacle in this little disruption is clarity. And, you know, and even though it's in the obstacle position, anytime we gain clarity, it's really not an obstacle. That clarity allows us to see things in a more intense or greater perspective. And that's what I'm picking up here. It's like you got to be really kind of strong willed because we're going to be hit with either some information or some kind of action that's going to reveal things in a deeper, more intense energy. Now, good morning, Tanya. How are you? What I do really, really, really love is that we have this peace energy, this card that's talking about peace. It's talking um, you know, and they've got a lot of light around them. They've got light in the hands. 
and that this is going to bring a sense of balance to what you're doing and how you perceive and work through this. So even though we probably aren't going to get the best of information or have the best of an experience, we are going to be very, very calm. We're going to feel... Um, very empowered that's that courage card coming through that we can weather this or we can handle it so uh it is oh i love full-time school <laughs> i won't lie uh so this is like even though poo might hit the fan we're gonna be fine through this it's not going to affect us in fact, it's going to put us into a place or a direction that we're able to see things in a, in a different perspective, have greater clarity, and it's really not going to affect us. Um, this healing is like, I want to say it's actually a sense of liberation. Um, one thing that kind of came in my head was... Have you ever had a sneaky suspicion about something and you're sitting there and you're like, man, I'm the only one in the room that thinks there's something off with this person. Everybody else thinks that they're awesome and wonderful and they're doing great things. And you're like, but there's something that's off. There's something that's off about this. And it comes to find out that person has been embezzling or um, has been doing something, you know, of a negative vibration and you were the only one that caught it. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting when I'm looking at this. It's like those sneaky suspicions that you had about something, you know, in a more negative tone. And you're like, I'm not trying to be a negative Nelly, but it ends up you were right. You were totally correct about everything going on. And that's where this healing and peace comes through. You're like, I told you I wasn't crazy. I told you there was something off about that. And now we've recognized that something off. Now, the energy in this really has doesn't have a lot to do with the courage or this energy coming in. But I'm picking up this large sense of of um family unity connection coming in together um i'm like everybody's holding hands in this picture so it's like a united front this would be a great weekend to spend time with family maybe do a cookout um go to you know go to the park go to the lake go do something as a family unit and allow yourselves to be very connected in with each other. That's a really important energy there. I love it when family comes in. Now, remember when we were talking about the energy coming in and it's kind of like when you really see you've been feeling that something was off and then you realize or it comes out in the perspective, in that clarity that yes, things were off. This is the place where people start making amends for doubting. Okay. So if to all of my friends that are conspiracy theorists, yes, I love you. This is the point where people were making fun of you or maybe you had arguments, you know, there was like some dissension, maybe a little breakup, whatever. This is the point where people come in and start to ask for forgiveness as well as people giving forgiveness. And I kind of, and it's like, I get the, you know, it's kind of like, I don't even know why we allowed that to get in between us in our relationship, our friendship, whatever. This energy is saying, you know, as things start coming open and the perspectives are changed because they see a truth, uh, you know, a reality through it, that we're also able to give and share forgiveness, to give forgiveness as well as ask for forgiveness and not feel any shame with that. A lot of times when people realize that they've been wrong on things, 
that they get a little freaked out about the idea of asking for forgiveness because sometimes we don't feel like we're worthy for forgiveness. And I'm just going to say, if you've been in a relationship that fell apart, a friendship, you know, it could be your siblings, it can be your parents, it can be your BFF or who used to be your BFF. It's okay. And it's a perfect time to ask and give for forgiveness. Okay. It's a perfect timing for that. The last card and um, that's in this, and I'm just kind of, what I get is don't expect or don't be surprised if something goes awry and I'm not getting anything really heavy negative, but like a little breakdown of something within the home. I'm not getting it as in relationships. Whoops, like this. I'm not getting it as in a relationship. I'm getting it as in the actual house. You know, it might be, oh God, something like a door breaks, you know, the door hinge breaks. Um, it might be something, you know, like a really minor repair. It, it's like more of a pain in your keister as opposed to a financial drain. Just something happens in the house that you got to replace it. You got to, not the house, but replace the part or fix it. Um, not nothing negative, um, as in like your house burns up or, you know, your air conditioner burns out or whatever. It's more of something that's a quick, easy fix. Um, and I'm going to get, sometimes you should have been putting the WD-40, you know, it could have been prevented. So you may even want to look around the house and go, is there something that's kind of quasi falling apart that I need to fix because I can do that and do it. So I hope you enjoyed this weekend's reading. It's going to be a great weekend for connecting in and being united with your family. It's a great weekend to ask for forgiveness. It's a great weekend to give forgiveness. And just remember, you're going to be in a good place. You got a lot of courage. You got a lot of strength. You got a lot of balance. You got a lot of peace. Don't feel defeated. Don't allow defeat to enter into your vibration. So I hope you have a great one. Don't forget me. Uh, if you'd like to come in and get a foot detox on Sunday, text me 405-549-3766. 25 cash, 30 on the card. Um, pay at the time of service. That's groovy. Uh, and then I also have my crescent moons. So just check out my little ads. I got a crescent moon necklace that I am offering for $5.00. Um, you can pick that up in the store or for an additional $2, I will send it to you. So peace, love, and harmony. Let me know if I can help you with anything and have a great day. I'm excited. Bye. Oh, I know my friend Christy gave it to me. Isn't that cool? I love that tapestry. Tapestry. <laughs>